Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, I'm going to talk about the MediaTek Helios P60 uh, chipset, which is a mid-range chipset uh, that was launched by MediaTek a few months ago. And in the last uh, Q&A session that I did earlier this month, uh, there was a question regarding the Helio P60. And I asked uh, you guys and I saw the comments that many of you actually wanted a dedicated video about the Helio P60. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. And I was doing a little bit of research and and I've heard actually pretty good things about this uh, Helio P60 uh, chipset and I feel it can give very good competition to actually the Qualcomm mid-range chipsets like the Snapdragon 630, 636 and even the Snapdragon 660 SoC. So I did a little bit of uh, research digging as you can see we have some three pages of notes so I'm going to talk about that in this video and uh, when I was doing my research on this Helio P60 chipset uh, I found that it does some very interesting things that uh, can be useful to end consumers like you and me for example it has uh, uh, native support for true uh, dual 4g volt i've already made a video about true 4g volt uh, here is a link you can check out that for more info and uh, it's nice to know, uh, see that this uh, helio p60 a chipset from mediatek is based on the 12 nanometer finfet uh, technology for example most of the snapdragon range chipsets like the snapdragon 636 uh, uh, 36 etc are based on the 14 nanometer process but this is based on 12 nanometer process Hence it's slightly more efficient and also in terms of heat produced when it's stressed it heats up a lot uh, less so uh, it is actually a lot more efficient i would say also moving to another thing that uh, they have implemented in this helio p60 is that it is a chip that uh, natively supports artificial intelligence for example i'm just going to read this uh, they have this thing called neuro uh, pilot which is artificial processing unit inside uh, this uh, uh, what do you say chipset which helps uh, smartphones in aiding in stuff like artificial like uh, what do you say face recognition or even uh, when you're using camera modes and stuff auto detects uh, all those things and it will also be helpful in ar and vr application so it has native support for that which is actually the face unlocking features and artificial intelligence as you see are becoming uh, common in high-end smartphones but due to this chipset it will also be available Available on mid-range smartphones and and moving to AI it supports the most common AI frameworks like uh, TensorFlow, TensorFlow Lite, Caffeine and Caffeine 2. For example TensorFlow is uh, artificial uh, lens API uh, again now Google has open sourced it so developers can now actually uh, work on it and create new applications so again uh, this is supported by this chipset so developers can work on it and create new AI what do you say artificial intelligence uh, experience that can be enabled on your smartphone smartphone so that is also supported on this one and now moving to the architecture of the helio p60 again this one is also a octo core processor but the good thing is that uh, the high frequency code the powerful cores is based on the more uh, very powerful arm cortex a73 architecture uh, generally in mid-range uh, smartphones most of the cores are based on the a53 but here the powerful cores are based on the arm cortex a73 and the other quad core which is the power efficient part is based on the arm cortex a53 now again uh, the gpu is also a very important part in a chipset that is the graphic uh, processor and uh, this uh, helio p60 is having the uh, mali g70 uh, uh, to mp3 gpu that can be clocked up to 800 megahertz and this is actually a very good gpu so the gaming performance should be actually very good and guys if you don't know uh, this uh, mali g72 gp was actually used on the samsung galaxy s9 plus uh, that is being sold in india the xenos variant so that is the gpu that you're getting with this chipset so the gaming performance should be actually really good now moving to ram ram is also important on a chipset i'm just going a little bit detailed uh, and this chipset does support the uh, what do you say uh, ddr4 ram specifically for mobiles the lp ddr4 and it can be clocked as high as up to 1800 megahertz but uh, again we know uh, sometimes that the ddr4 memory is more expensive let's say a manufacturer wants to have this chipset but wants to save a little bit cost because they are pricing a device very aggressively uh, this chipset also supports the ddr3 ram so if a manufacturer wants that they can go with that so it supports both DDR4 and DDR3 so it offers that flexibility.
Now moving to uh, the ISP, that is called as the image signaling processor, which is also very important. Many people don't uh, give a lot of thought about this. And uh, this P60, the Helio P60 also has improved ISP. They say that this one is having a three core ISP, uh, which is actually aided by a dual core APU. Hence, uh, the image signaling processing is also very fast on this. And uh, due to this, it can obviously support dual camera setup. For example, uh, they say that it can support dual cameras up to uh, the main camera can be 24 megapixel and the secondary camera can be up to 16 megapixel and uh, if a manufacturer wants a single camera setup they can go as high as 32 megapixel so that is also supported and also as this isp is very much optimized uh, even when you use applications like dual camera for example where uh, the uh, isp needs to handle uh, images from both it will be done a lot faster because this isp is actually optimized and they say that uh, it reduces even power consumption by 18 percent also as this isp also uh, works with that ai engine uh, so the processing of uh, images for example with the dual camera etc will be a lot faster and obviously it does support functions like background blur or bokeh that you expect in a modern smartphone now moving to another thing is uh, they have this uh, uh, thing on this p60 known as the core pilot you could think this as the what do you say uh, inspector on the process which actually is important when you are doing very heavy tasks on a smartphone or something like that. This regulates it and even when you are doing heavy tasks like gaming and stuff, it doesn't allow your, your smartphone to slow down. Uh, now moving to uh, what do you say, comparison of this Helio P60 with some of the other older MediaTek chipsets. Uh, they say that the Helio P60 is almost 70% higher in performance compared to the MediaTek uh, Helio P23, which was the earlier chipset. So as you can see, uh, you're getting a lot more performance and at the same time, it is going to consume 25% less power. So essentially, you're getting a lot more power uh, in terms of uh, raw computing, more power, uh, but in terms of power consumption, which is very important on a smartphone, this will consume a lot less power. That way, uh, in terms of what you say, heat generation also, it will produce a lot less heat. And as it's running on the 12 a nanometer FinFET process, uh, it's a very good overall package. And obviously, as uh, this, even this uh, Helio P60 uh, will be supporting true dual 4G VoLTE out of the box. So you can simultaneously actually use uh, two, uh, what do you say, 4G uh, SIM cards on the device and even uh, two, what do you say, two Geo uh, SIM simultaneously. So this is supported out of the box. So uh, again, I'm not a very firm believer of benchmarks, but again, I, I was just Googling around and I saw some benchmark results with this Helio P60 uh, chipset. And uh, for example, the Oppo F7 came out with the Helio P60 chipset. So I was looking, uh, googling about some of the benchmarks and this uh, chipset is getting an Antutu score of about 1,39,000 which is a very high score. So also as you can see uh, the raw benchmark figures are also actually very nice. So to sum it up this Helio P60 uh, chipset looks like a very impressive mid-range chipset and uh, it has powerful features like AI and obviously it's based on the 12 nanometer FinFET technology and also it supports uh, features that you might be uh, using in the near future like do 4G Volte. So overall, I would say this looks like a very uh, uh, optimized mid-range uh, chipset. And I'm hoping to test out the new smartphones that would come out with the on this uh, Helio P60 chipset. So do let me know what do you think about this MediaTek Helio P60 chipset in the comment section uh, below. Again, guys, that's it for now for this video. If you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.